Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another video. Today we are moving along and finishing, well not finishing, but working in the lap book. If you didn't see the last two videos, I made the cover with you. I did the binding. Today I decided I want to kind of get this going a little bit more inside. I'm going to cover the spine areas with some fabric and I'm just hopping in right here. I just had some scrap fabric and I really didn't cut it down too much. It was almost like the perfect size. So you're going to see I'm just using my Tombow glue and I'm just going to be gluing the fabric over those spine areas. And you'll see that they are pretty, they're a little bit wider than the spine. They go onto that paper and that's fine because I'm going to be covering those paper sections with more paper. <laughs> so that's all going to be covered up and it'll look a lot more groomed and nice. And I don't think that I had this manila colored paper on these sections in the last episode, um, but I, I'm pretty sure I did that off camera because it was just a quick simple thing. I just cut them down to size and glued them straight down. So I'm just going to continue gluing the fabric down in all of these spots. So now that I have everything down, you can see the fabrics aren't perfectly sized, but it's not a big deal once we get everything else covered. So I'm going to use my Distress Oxide here, and I'm going to make sure to distress the edges of all of the papers before I place those down. Now I end up decorating each of these sections where I'm putting paper. Each section is going to be decorated with pockets and things like that, but I just wanted a more decorative paper put down first as a base because I I just wanted to use up my pretty papers and I wanted it to be kind of peeking through. So you'll see that I'm just going to make sure to ink up all of those edges and place those papers down. And in this video, I will be decorating just one of the little spaces. And then in the coming episode, you'll see another space decorated. So I'll just continue. I am using my Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. And so to decorate the first little section uh, all the way not to the left, I'm going to leave these blank guys because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them. But anyways, so I'm going to decorate this first space here. And I wanted to make a folder that has pockets. So you can see here, I'm just using a, um, let's see, what did I cut it down to? It was like a 10 by 12 piece of paper. And I just fold up the bottom so that it ended up being about seven and three, no, about seven and a half inches. Oh my gosh, I forgot. So I filmed this like a week ago, by the way, and I'm doing a voiceover now. So I forgot, I actually did end up putting this all the way to the left. And then I move everything over as the video goes along. Okay, but back to this little folder. So this is a very simple folder and I'm going to use my little decorative punch along that bottom edge. So when it folds up, you'll see these really cute little butterflies. And I have so many of these edge punches and I am so bad about remembering to use them. I don't know if you guys are too, but I'm hoping this inspires you to pull them out and use them because they are such a quick and easy way to add a nice personal touch in your journals. Um, you know, it's just so much easier than like adding lace to the edge, which is something I really love doing, but I think this is just as pretty. So I'm going to make sure to do that all the way across and then I'm going to grab my ink again and just go around all of the edges. And I did speed this clip up obviously <laughs> just because it's very repetitive. Now I want to use my sewing machine to sew the pockets together. I really like doing this for a pocket and even though sometimes I'm kind of lazy about grabbing my sewing machine for a pocket, I really recommend it if you have a sewing machine um, because a pocket over time definitely breaks down in a journal if it's just done with glue or adhesive. I mean, I've had it happen in mine. Um, even if you use a strong glue, it's probably going to be fine if you don't overstuff it, but I guess for me, I usually overstuff them. So 
I do really try to use my sewing machine um, if I know it's going to be a pocket that has a lot in it. But now I'm going to use my glue and just put a ton on the back so that I can glue this straight down to the page. So that's kind of my main part of the page. And I wanted each of these sections to have very interactive things happening. Since we're not using signatures and lots of pages in this lap book, I want there to be a lot going on in each section because I wanted there to be many areas to work with and hide journaling cards and whatnot. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to make a very quick little envelope and I'm using a piece of paper that is probably around six inches by 12 and I just fold it into threes and somehow I lined up the roses like exactly perfect and that was done by mistake. It was crazy. But now I'm covering it up because I want to use some embellishments. So um, this is just one of the embellishments that actually came with this um, paper line. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on, but I will end up using my sewing machine to go around the edges of it because I want this to be the little closure for the top of the envelope. And I kind of thought again that over time that glue might break down, even though I will say this glue is extremely strong, but it's going to be an area that gets moved around a lot. So anyways, I'm just gonna sew around uh, like three sides of this little embellishment, which is kind of like a little Polaroid picture. And then you can kind of see how that envelope flap just kind of fits straight under there. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew up the entire envelope. That's one thing you gotta, if you are wanting to sew embellishments onto an envelope like this, you gotta remember to do that first. Okay, so I'm just sewing around three edges, kind of the same idea as the pocket that I had in the folder, but this one has a little flap to close it and make it more of an envelope style. So again, here we are using the same ink. I just wanted there to be a lot of color happening. Also, I feel like when you have an envelope like this, sometimes when you're opening a journal, you might not realize that, oh, this is an envelope that opens up when the prints go together so perfectly but if you use ink to kind of break that up and add dimension I think it's just more obvious but anyways now I'm going to use my glue again and this is going on top of the folder now something I did not do in this video I didn't do it till the end actually was I ended up adding magnets to almost everything in this lap book that opens and closes because I was finding that when I would open this lap book, everything opened up. Anyways, I think I was saying um, I did not put glue in the center of the envelope, so like the top center, if that makes sense, because see here, you can add a journaling card and I wanted there to be so many places that I could fit little things into. But I decided I wanted to make my journaling card a little bit more than just the journaling card, so I'm gluing it on to some just scrap paper that I had and I keep the little branding strip at the top because I love how that looks and then I did sew on an embellishment label so that it's like a little tab so that's just placed in there just to kind of show you what um, I'm doing with it all right so here you go you can see what it looks like We've got the envelope on top, we have a little pocket, and then we have the folder that opens up. Now this little button came with the embellishments for the collection as well, and I wanted to use that. So I ended up gluing that on. I guess I must have done it off camera, which I didn't realize. But now I'm moving on to the outside spines, which show, um, you'll see, they, they show on like the opening part of the journal, if that makes sense. If you can't figure out where this is, you, you'll see in a few minutes here. So I actually just decided instead of covering it up, why don't I just use some inks? I'm also using my crocodile here to put a hole. And so I'm going to add an eyelet at both the ends of this spine so that I can add some string and this will be an area where it's kind of like a traveler's notebook situation. 
and I will be able to add some elastic string which can hold either like a one signature little journal or birthday cards and I've I was planning on putting my daughter's birthday cards in it come to find out most of her cards are a little too big so I'm still trying to figure out how to incorporate them into the journal since this is after the fact <laughs> and now I know how it all played out anyways um my crocodile is not the best at punching holes so I usually have to use my little um all to f complete the hole it's kind of annoying but it's okay it gets the job done so here I am just going to lace some string through the top and the bottom it's an elastic string actually and then I just pull those all the way through and I'll tie them together and then so if you are not familiar with like a traveler's notebook basically I can um, you'll see what it looks like at the the end but I'll be able to put a journal underneath that string that didn't really explain it very well, but I promise at the end when I do a flip through, you'll see everything. Okay, so I decide, you know what, I'm just going to finish this off with ink. Because again, I just didn't think it would work out too well to cover with more fabric, unless I had already done that, because my covers are already finished. And the spines were just a little bit too see-through. And you can still see that there are, you can see like that there's book spines but I didn't really care too much I felt like the ink completed it enough where I thought it looked pretty good so see you can you can get an idea of where this is located now in the next episode we will be making a triple envelope pocket so stay tuned for that here is a little sneak peek preview of what to expect and I will see you in the next video bye guys